God's prophet quotes that nothing should be eaten between meals. No confectionery, nuts, fruits, or food of any kind. Irregularities in eating destroy the healthful tone of the digestive organs to the detriment of health and cheerfulness. Let us now look into the scientific reasoning as to, God, as to why God inspired Ellen G. White to write that snacking is detriment to our health and cheerfulness. Last week, Sister Lindsay spoke about the pyloric sphincter, which acts as a gate to allow food to pass once it has completed its cycle of digestion. However, when snacks are introduced, this muscle and the migrating motor complex is also impacted. The migrating motor complex is a process that serves as the housekeeper in our gut and cleans and sweeps away the undigested materials. It is triggered by signals in our brain and the process only takes place during fasting in between meals. And so if we are eating in between meals and snacking, the migrating motor complex stops working and the undigested materials stay in the gut. With an, un, with an impaired migrating motor complex, bacteria that normally resides in the colon can make their way up to the small intestine to feed on the undigested materials. This can cause a condition called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And SIBO can cause symptoms such as gas, bloating, inability to digest and absorb food, constipation, and chronic fatigue. And studies have actually shown that 80% of those with IBS have SIBO. And the best way to explain what happens when we snack in between meals is by visualizing that you are putting a load of washing in the washing machine and you begin the cycle. Halfway through the cycle, you stop the washing machine and decide to put more clothes in. Now, doesn't that sound a bit crazy? Don't we usually just wait until the end of the cycle and then begin a new cycle, right? But this is what happens when we snack in between our meals. The cycle of digestion stops, and the food we ate for breakfast is still present when we are eating dinner. A study was actually done at Uchi Pines Lifestyle Retreat in America, and they showed the results of x-rays of what happens when, we, when an individual snacks after they have eaten breakfast. And as you can see on the slide, you can see how long the breakfast stays in the gut. And what happens is that the food starts to ferment and you get bloating and the bacteria again starts to migrate towards the intestines as I mentioned and it starts to cause a lot of problems. So what are the benefits of no snacking? So we have weight loss, we have reversal of type 2 diabetes, low PMS and stress, eliminating high blood pressure, increased stable energy and most importantly it can help us to have increased clarity and a better focus. No snacking can help us make wise decisions so do, we do not fall into temptation and sin. There are so many benefits of not snacking, so I encourage you to follow God's counsel and see what blessings he will give you in return. And before I go, I just want to share some tips on overcoming the habit of snacking. And number one is Pray, pray, pray. This is personally and together as a church family. The Brentwood Prayer Ministry Team have organized many opportunities for us to come together. So let us pray and surrender our bodies to be temperate and have healthy minds and bodies to work for the Lord and to win souls. Amen. Number two is to claim scripture. So when Jesus was tempted by Satan in the wilderness with food, this was how he overcame. So quoting scripture like Matthew 4.4 4 and James 1.12, which reads, Blessed is the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. 
Number three is eat a small handful of nuts after breakfast and lunch to keep you fuller for longer. Number four, drink a glass of water when you want to snack. And this is because you probably think you are hungry, but actually your body is saying you are dehydrated. Eat, like a, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a queen. And this is because too often we do not eat substantial meals to keep us full till lunch or dinner, so we tend to snack. And number seven, accountability. So we want to invite you to come to see Healing Hearts after the service for a six-week lifestyle coaching to help overcome the habits that hold us back from working, walking closer to God. Physical habits have a great deal to do with success of every individual. So let us seek the Lord and ask him to reveal to us what habits we need to learn and what habits we need to unlearn. And I pray that you all have a blessed Sabbath day. Thank you.